the bats in the cave. Air is looking all right. I think it's cooperating today. Let's do this thing. I started out drinking regular coffee and then I was drinking too much coffee and then I thought I better do something about that so I tried mud water and then I realized mud water was really expensive and I thought well I know I'll drink decaffeinated coffee Swiss water processed and then I missed coffee and I started drinking coffee again and I found a good coffee and now I'm on to something else and what is that something else well I'll talk about it in this video right here Hey, it's Kurt. I review health and fitness products. I buy them all with my own hard earned cash. I am not sponsored by anyone. I don't put any affiliate links down below so you can get discounts. I'm all against that because why? I wanna make unbiased reviews. Now, every once in a while, a manufacturer will give me a product for free. And if that's the case, I will always let you know upfront in the video. No, this is not a commercial. A lot of people write that down below in the description. I'm like, no, this is not a commercial. I don't get paid by anybody. I do this for fun. Yeah, this is what I do for fun. Really? And again, no affiliate links down below. No discounts. You gotta find the stuff yourself on the internet, which I figure by now you're savvy enough to type in the name of the product I'm talking about. So where am I in this whole coffee thing now? Well, I'll tell you where I am. I'm looking for healthy coffees and I found this product called Purity. Ta-da! And Purity Coffee attracted my attention because it was so healthy and I read a lot about it, or at least it appears to be very healthy. And I thought I'd talk about it in this video right here so you guys could learn more about it. Recently, my go-to coffee has come from Coffee for the Arts. You may have heard me talk about this before, but I love this organization because they donate 10% of the proceeds of the coffee you buy to help fund art education programs for inner city youths. The money goes to places like innercityarts.org or the Los Angeles County School of Arts. Now, I always support these guys, but I do have to get out of that little box and try something else too every once in a while, right? And looking for really healthy coffees is kind of been a quest for me because coffee can be good, coffee can be bad, and I want the good. I found Purity Coffee by just scrolling through the grams. I don't even know if that's cool or right word to say or IG, whatever it was, I was scrolling through and that's where I found it. Purity Coffee advertises itself as a high antioxidant organic coffee crafted for health. It was started by a guy named Andrew Salisbury. And one of the reasons he started is because his wife was having these horrible issues with debilitating fatigue. And she was drinking tons of coffee a day, sometimes up to six cups of coffee. And he was worried that, hey, this whole coffee thing is bad for you. You, you gotta stop drinking coffee. It's making you have these horrible symptoms. So he did some more research on it and really went deep into the investigation of it. So he went to the Vanderbilt Institute of Coffee Studies and found out from their scientists that there were actually a lot of amazing things about coffee. And there were tons of studies that said coffee is actually good for you. So he thought, well, maybe what's in the coffee is what's bad for you, not the coffee itself. Andrew and his wife and Missy and John Butcher ended up starting Purity Coffee in the hopes of making the healthiest coffee they could make. They paid special attention to a few specific things. One was conscious sourcing of the beans for environmental sustainability. They looked for specially grade coffee, coffee inspected and sorted to avoid defects. Precision roasting, where each of its products was roasted differently to take advantage of what it had inside of the bean. And finally, focused fulfillment. And you're like, what is focused fulfillment? They wanna ensure that coffee is as healthy as it can be in storage, packaging, and delivery. Delivering. If you think about it, you're making this amazing product, right? And you put it in a dirty jar and then you ship it somewhere and you basically got rid of all the good that you started with and now it's just crappy coffee. Well, they thought if we can do the whole process as an ecosystem and make everything the best it could be, then we'll have the best coffee and the healthiest coffee that there could be. Now let's get to my experience with Purity Coffee. Here's some questions I had about Purity Coffee. Here's some questions you guys might have. If you guys have more questions, put them down below in the description and I will answer them as best I can. Oh yeah, and here's where I talk about liking and subscribing to my channel, so important. And I just want you to know, it's really good for the environment too. Anyways, back to the questions. What's the first question you're gonna ask? I know what it is. How did it taste? Well, I'll tell you how it tasted. I ordered three of the four coffees that they made. They had Flow, Ease, 
and protect and calm. I didn't order calm, which is a decaffeinated coffee. Why I didn't order it, I don't know. I think I missed it somehow, things happen. But maybe I'll review that down the line. First one I tried was Flow and instantly I was amazed on how good it tasted. Like I said, I'm not getting paid by these guys. I'm actually telling you, this was amazing coffee. I was blown away and that doesn't happen often. How often do you guys drink a cup of coffee and like, this is amazing? Very rarely. Well, that's what I felt like after drinking this coffee. Here's a taste profile of Flow. Roasted nuts, dark chocolate with juicy apple-like high notes. Now, did I taste all of these things and the juicy apple-like high notes? No, not really. I just knew it tasted really good. Flow is high in antioxidants and specifically formulated to support overall health and wellness. Then I moved on to Ease. You know what? That tasted really good too. Ease was developed for supporting gut health and overall wellness. Its taste profile is made up of dark chocolate, roasted walnut, and brown spice. Finally, I moved on to Protect. And you know what? Protect was decent. I was a little let down by Protect and I think it has a high acidity. But let me tell you a little more about Protect first. It's made for liver vitality and I'm not sure what that means. I don't think I could really feel anything going on with my liver unless the doctor said, your liver's bad. It's also got the highest level of antioxidant activity. Protect contains more CGA than any of their coffees. And now you're saying, that's cool, Kurt, but what the heck is CGA? Well, let me tell you. CGA stands for chlorogenic acids. And according to the website NIH.gov, there is a wide range of potential health benefits of CGA, including its anti-diabetic, anti-carcinogenic, anti-inflammatory, and anti-obesity impacts. They may provide a non-pharmacological and non-invasive approach for treatment or prevention of some chronic diseases. I put the link to the article down below so you can check it out yourself. Is there any proof to the health benefits of Purity Coffee? No, there isn't really any, but if you look at all the stuff that they put in their coffee, there's been tons of scientific research about that stuff, and it's all pointing towards good. But Purity does point this out on their website. It says, we must state emphatically that we are not making health claims about our coffee. The US Food and Drug Administration controls what companies can and cannot say about their products. And there's a reason for this, because if you think about it, in order to prove that their coffee has these health benefits, they would have to have a control group of what? A thousand people. Have these thousand people probably eat the same kind of diet every single day for quite a while, and then test them eating that while drinking cups of coffee and measuring that over months and months. Well, I imagine it would be almost impossible to get a thousand people and to pay them enough money to do something like that because you probably have to house them all together and watch what they eat to make sure they didn't eat any healthier products that would somehow help the coffee look healthier. Does that make sense? Did I feel any different when I drank the coffee? No, I didn't. I just liked the flavor. I thought it tasted good. I've been eating pretty healthy lately. My diet kind of got out of whack there about a month or so ago, and now I'm back on the train. So I don't suffer from a low energy. I don't drink this coffee and say, oh my gosh, I get so much energy from this coffee. It just makes me feel about the same as I usually do, which is good, so it's not doing anything bad. It tastes good. I only need two cups of coffee in the morning and I'm set. I think that's a positive. And also, I know a bad cup of coffee when I taste one, so it's nice to have good tasting coffee in the morning. What is so special about their coffee? It's always organic. They source beans to the strictest standards. There's zero mold in their coffee. And the beans are roasted for maximum health benefits. It's antioxidant rich and delivered to you within 48 hours of roasting it. Not many coffee companies can say that. Do I feel they're using the best coffee beans and they are truthful about what they're saying on their website? I do, but I'm always a little skeptical. Unless I go down to Columbia myself where they actually own a farm and checked out for myself what everything looked like and how they were running everything, I couldn't tell you for sure, but I don't think they would be faking this, but you never know but they do have this going for them. Their coffee is USDA certified organic, and most of their coffee has achieved the Smithsonian Bird Friendly Certification, which is the highest standard of certified organic coffee. So it's a third party verification company, and that's pretty impressive. I love it when companies have third parties to look at their product because they remain unbiased, or at least it helps me believe so. 
How much did it cost? The pricing was not bad actually. I usually pay like 22 to 24 dollars for my fancy coffees for 12 ounces. These are going for $24 to $26. Protect is the most expensive at $26. If you subscribe to them, which I'm always against subscriptions, but hey, you can save 20%. Can you get coffee that's pre-ground? Now, this is the big bummer about it. I do like to get my coffee grounded, but this comes in whole beans. So you have to grind it yourself or go find some place to grind it. I don't like grinding it myself because I have this tiny little grinder and it takes forever. I don't know, it takes like five or six different grinds to get the whole bag grounded so I can put it into my little special holding cells for the coffee. Although I did realize something purely by mistake when I just grounded enough coffee for that morning's coffee, it tasted better than if I grounded the entire bag of coffee and put it away into its own little holding cell. Probably not gonna do that in the future because it just takes too much time. I'm kind of lazy and I don't wanna do that when I'm sleepy in the morning. It just has a better flavor than grinding it all at the same time. And it's probably just cause it's fresher. Are there any neat things about the coffee? As I told you before, they bought their own farm back in 2022 down in Colombia, which is really cool. Were there any weird things about the coffee? Nothing weird bad, but something weird good. I don't know much about coffee beans, but the coffee beans looked really scrumptious and I don't even know why. I looked at them and thought, man, these coffee beans look really good. And I know nothing about coffee beans. Also, I'm very, very in tune with different smells and I thought, this coffee smelled amazing. Now let's get to the pros and cons of Purity Coffee. First, the pros. It's healthy, has great flavor, costs about the same as other high-end coffees. The coffees are officially USDA certified organic and most have achieved the Smithsonian Bird Friendly Certification, the highest standard of certified organic coffee. And it doesn't make me jittery. Now the cons. You can't get it pre-grounded and I'm not really sure if it gives you more energy than other coffees, but only really two cons, which is not that many. So my final score for this coffee on a scale from one to 10 with 10 being best is an eight out of 10. Now I would give this a nine out of 10. I just haven't had it for long enough. I've had the coffee for about three weeks now, but who knows, maybe I'll come back in six months, do a quick review and say, hey guys, it's a nine now. Or maybe like, I was totally wrong, it's a one. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about Purity Coffee, please put the questions down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to help answer your questions for you. Remember to like and subscribe for gosh darn sake. And if you guys have other products you want me to review, put them in the comments down below and if enough of you talk about the same product, I might even do a review on it. You can also hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post at least two times a week about other things, fitness, and sometimes just some pretty photos. I'll see you on the next one.